I think this is as good a video as any to show you how Penny walks on the leash. Here she is with two enormous dogs and you can consider them sufficient distractions. I mean, they're uh, each 150 pounds. They're both St. Bernard's. And she walks like a champ. Um, I'm going to put that new prong collar on her you know the one like the one you showed me in the picture and that's the one I'm gonna send her home with until you get the the one with um, this the chain the three inch chain in the middle that I, I I told you about so you can see that the leash is loose it's relaxed and so is she she's walking great they kind of help because they are like bumpers on you know she, their rails she can't go too far to the left or the right because she's a little bit boxed in but that's okay i think she sees a squirrel over there okay so she doesn't have a super strong prey drive so that's good news okay penny okay come on girl good girl okay so the camera itself is a bit distracting because she sees me uh, distracted as well I'm not focusing on the road here but she walks great and she goes home pretty soon so she's definitely ready for home she's had no accidents that was the main issue with her when she got to my home her main issue was accidents and she doesn't have any accidents. She had one, but that was diarrhea. And so that's not her fault. Since that time, I'm monitoring her for diarrhea or loose stool. It wasn't really diarrhea. It was loose stool, which was caused by the beef hot dogs. I got the hot dogs from Costco. They were rich in fat and so that's what caused the loose stool and as soon as i removed that and gave her different treats she was fine she her stool is fine now so um yeah so i think for penny okay um she would definitely benefit if you brought her to my home for socializing and you know refinement of of her um her training, you know, like once every couple months, whenever you go on a trip or vacation, that would be awesome. You know, just a couple days will do wonders to remind her, you know, how to walk on the leash, how to do the commands and, you know, how to be social with other dogs. That's very helpful. Um, I think that she should have a yard. So if you... You have space, and so that's great. If you were a renter or, you know, there was some other reason you couldn't have a yard, but for a dog her size and age, the yard uh, is going to make all the difference in the world as far as, you know, um, pooping outside, relaxing. Some dogs are shy. Like, I know dogs that... They won't poop if I'm watching them, right? Just like humans, they don't want to be watched when they're pooping. So, you know, they, um, she's, she may be waiting. Also in the winter, I notice that when it's super cold, right? They're, the dogs, are, especially the puppies, they will be clenching. <laughs> they're holding and they're not really ready to to poop because it's too damn cold out there right and so they'll come in and poop so you know that's not good but if you gave them enough time out there in a in a place where you know ideally they had some shelter that protects them against rain and snow and such that would be the best scenario but yeah if you are interested in having a small enclosure on part of your yard 
where you could put her out every morning, give her 20 minutes, half an hour to do her business. I'm sure she will never have an accident. Um, you're going to look for signs, okay? You're going to look for signs that she has to go outside. The signs are she's standing by the door. She's whining. She's looking at you as if expecting something. Um, she's sniffing around. Okay, those are all, or you know what? You, you know, the best way to do it, short of a doggy door, which I always push the doggy door because, I mean, you don't have to do anything. The dog has complete control, and that's how she's been trained. When Right now, when she wants to go outside, even at nighttime, you know, I give her the, the potty breaks at nighttime, but she could go outside anytime she wants to go poo or pee, so she has complete control. That's the ideal scenario because you don't want to get up 10 times a day, 20 times a day, let her in, let her back out. Let her, in. you know, it, it's, uh, you got better things to do and she doesn't have to worry that she might not have access. So, uh, yeah, a fenced yard is the best scenario and, a, you know, the doggy door is also a super great idea. Okay, but in my opinion, this dog couldn't be better housebroken. I trust her in my bedroom. She sleeps at the floor of my bed. Oh, I sleep with the dogs. I sleep on a cot. It's like an army cot. So she uh, sleeps at the foot. That's a carpeted area, the only carpeted area in my home. So I trust her there. She, no dog has ever had an accident there because... Few dogs get that privilege, and I trust her. She, she's she's smart, she's gentle, she's 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 a great dog. So there are no other behavioral issues with her. She did get a little sad the last couple days because both of her best friends that she went through the training with, both of those puppies went home. If you remember, little Izzy, and then the other. Aussie pup was um, uh, what was that puppy's name? There's so many puppies. Uh, the other puppy. Um, uh, anyway, it'll come to me. But um, yeah, she missed her friends, you know. And it's kind of she wonders where they are. And then these new dogs, you know, they, they're very friendly, but they're enormous. So she's like, "What's going on?" You know. So that's it's it's. Um, she got a crash course in uh, socializing and in saying goodbye because it's hard to say goodbye to a friend that you bonded with you know they really did love each other so uh, she's ready to go home <laughs> I'm super proud of her I'm gonna do her canine good citizen paperwork and her progress report and uh, you know, she's a super dog. I hope I get to see her again uh, when you go on trips or just for doggy daycare, you know. Um, so, yeah, uh, there's nothing else I can say about her. There's no other issues. I mean, you can see we've been walking here for eight, nine minutes, right? And she walks like a champ. And uh, every part of her training went perfectly. You know, so uh, I'm really proud of her. She's a real super, she's super sweet and gentle. And she looks at you with such, you know, she's, she's a gentle dog. And so, you know, that's a special quality. She's not too hyper. She's not, you know, she's not destructive. She's not a barker. So, you know, this is a high value dog. She's special. She's a, she's a special dog. So uh, I can't say enough of Penny, right? She's a sweet dog. So yeah, I'll make another video in a couple days of her doing her basic commands. You've seen those videos before, but you know, it's just going to be even smoother because, you know, we practice every single day on that. And so uh, I know you're going to be very happy with her progress.